All right, here I am reviewing this uh, Netgear push to TV box. It's Miracast and Intel Y die compatible. Um, basically, it's pretty small. I bought it off Amazon. Just as a point of reference, here's a deck of cards, um, and it's actually quite a bit smaller than a deck of cards. So definitely for travel, very light. It just has a USB input, my micro USB, HDMI out. That's it. One LED little button on the side here. You just have to use that for firmware upgrades. I have it connected to my TV here. So it does have a little bit of a UI, just shows uh, this message when it's ready to connect. Um, and there's a note. If you're gonna use this with a Samsung device, like a Galaxy S3 or a Note 2, make sure that your device is not rooted because if your device is modified or rooted at all, it will not work. And that is not the fault of the Netgear, that's the fault of Samsung. If you go to the about, a screen under your settings and go to status scroll down to the bottom it says device status i think and like on my phone unfortunately it says modified that means you cannot use it but um i do have my tablet here uh nexus 10 that's not rooted or modified in any way so i can show you how it works so here if we log in here don't want to show you my password all right, so sorry for the blurriness. It's my phone not focusing. Maybe I can make it focus again. All right, there you go. Okay, so we go to more settings. We go under all share cast. And in a second, it should show, it says scanning. Okay, now it says connecting. And on the TV here, in a second, it will pop up. I hope. <laughs> The tablet does say connected now. And of course the TV says connecting to wireless. Oh, there we go. There is the interface. Um, it works quite well, actually. You, you know, you can, it's all mirrored. There's a little bit of lag, but of course my TV has lag too. So I would not play games on this, but let's launch the video here. So if I go to video player, um, what will happen is anytime you play video like out of YouTube and I hit play, there's the video full screen. Um, on the tablet, it just shows the all share cast icon here. So any kind of on screen display stay on the tablet and then they don't show up on your phone. So just, I mean, I'm sorry on the TV. So that's something to note. <laughs> and I don't mean Galaxy Note <laughs> because that's what this is, Galaxy Note 10. But yeah, so YouTube, for instance, just shows a blank a black video while you're playing. So if I go over to YouTube here, all right, so, okay, the ad is playing, but you see there's black, but there it is on my TV playing. So just FYI, but it does work quite well. Video quality, you know, it's pretty good. Like I said, there's a little bit of lag, but um, it's not too bad. I like it. Yeah, like here I'll load YouTube again. There's YouTube. Uh, there's a little bit of a black border on the side because the tablet has a 1280 by 800 resolution, but I'm sure on a phone with a 720p, you know, will actually show perfectly with no borders on the edges at all. But just keep in mind the whole thing about the uh, mirroring, about the, I'm sorry, the rooted device. If your device is rooted, it will not work. And for instance, I'll show you on my tablet here. And if I go under settings, about device, status, you scroll down here, there it is. I'm sorry, let me see if I can get it to focus a bit better. Device status official. It needs to say that, oh, there it is on my TV as well. It needs to say that, otherwise it will not work. Just FYI. You can try using Triangle Away or any other app, but if you can't get it to say official, forget it. Don't even bother buying this. And it's not just the Netgear, the Samsung All Share Cast dongle will have the same exact problem. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything to test with when it comes to um, Intel wireless display. So just FYI, uh, it does work with that as well. You don't need to switch the mode or anything, some people said you do have to switch the mode on this. That was for the old firmware. This is the latest firmware. 
works fine with both. I just don't have a laptop to test with. My laptop has wireless display, the Y-Di, just doesn't seem to be working. And it's not this, it's the drivers on my computer. I, it just won't start. So I'm not sure what's wrong there. So anyways, uh, I do recommend it. It's about $60 US right now. So it's cheaper than the Samsung. And um, because you have compatibility with other phones, Nexus 4, LG, a couple of LGs, some Sony phones, and all the Windows laptops, it's definitely good that way.